Good morning. Welcome to Raw Online. In today's session, we are going to see temporomandibular joint. So just like any other presentation, the competency under which this session is covered in CBME curriculum is AN 33.3, which describes and demonstrates the articulating surface type and movements of the temporomandibular joint. And under 33.5 AN, we are going to describe the features of temporomandibular joint. So before we go into the joint per se, we will just see the topography of the bones which are associated there. So the skull is depicted along with the part of the mandibular part of the skull. So this green shaded portion is the temporal bone, the squamous part of the temporal bone. Here is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. There is a tympanic plate, a styloid process, the mastoid process. So all that is shaded in green is denoting the temporal bone. The mandible, we will be also having a separate slide on the mandible. Here you can see that the condyloid process of the mandible is articulating with the temporal bone. So this is the area of interest in today's session. So this is the area of interest in today's session. So this is a magnified view of the temporal bone showing the squamous part of the temporal bone, the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, the tympanic part and here is the tympanic plate and this is the external acoustic meatus. This is a petrous tear part of the temporal bone. What is not shown here is the mastoid and the mastoid part is not shown in the styloid part. So this is the fissure between the squamous part and the petrous part called the petrosquamous fissure which continues further down as a petrotympanic fissure. So we are more interested in this area which is the mandibular fossa which is the articular part of the for the head of the mandible for the temporomandibular joint. So here is the articular tubercle and here will be the mandibular fossa. So this is the region we are interested in. So coming to the mandible, this is the body of the mandible and this is the ramus of the mandible. And there are three processes. The processes, alveolar process lodges the teeth. The coronoid process is like a, uh, it gives attachment to the temporalis. And the condylar process, condylar process is the one which is going to articulate with the temporal bone. So this is the main parts that we want to be interested in mandible. So what is temporomandibular joint? It is a pair of synovial joint. So one on this side, other on the opposite side, but they act always together as one unit. They don't act, one side does not act independently of the other. So this is what we saw in the earlier picture, the articular tubercle and the mandibular fossa articulating with the condylar process of the mandible. So what are the bones forming the joint? The articular tubercle here, okay, this is the articular tubercle and the fossa, the anterior articular part of the mandibular fossa. Together make up the articular surface and the condylar process of the mandible, the head of the mandible forms the lower part of the articulating part of the joint. Compartments. This temporomandibular joint space, the cavity, it's a synovial joint. So there is a synovial cavity, joint space between the two articular parts. It's a coronal section. You are seeing here, this is the mandibular fossa and the articular tubercle. And here is the head of the mandible. This space is in turn divided into two spaces by a disc, a fibrocartilaginous articular disc. And that disc is separating the cavity into two spaces. The cavity above is called the meniscotemporal compartment because it is between the temporal bone and the meniscus. This fibrocartilaginous disc is otherwise called the meniscus. And the compartment below, lower compartment is between the head of the mandible and the disc. So it is menisco-mandibular compartment. 
why these two compartments in movements this compartment the more the protraction retraction happen in this compartment and the depression and uh, elevation happen in this compartment another thing which is very important here in temporomandibular joint is we all know that generally the synovial joints the articular surfaces are lined by hyaline cartilage whereas there are a few exceptions of which temporomandibular joint is one the articular surface is lined by fibrocartilage in temporomandibular joint so the articular surface are also lined by fibrocartilage there is a fibrocartilaginous disc which is called meniscus is present within the joint cavity dividing it into two compartments and that is what you see here so any joint what are the topics that we deal with the articular surfaces ligaments and then the relations movements muscles causing the movements and finally the applied anatomy so of course the blood and nerve supply so having done with the articular surfaces we will now see what are the ligaments one of the simplest joint with just four ligaments as any other ligament capsule which encloses the joint is one and then there are three named ligaments of which the lateral ligament or the is the main ligament which is related to the temporomandibular joint apart from that there are two accessory ligaments sphenomandibular ligament stylomandibular ligament and of course the articular disc which we saw in the previous slide